am I the a-hole for insisting on a paternity test before accepting my ex-wife's son as my own? I, 32 male, was married to my ex-wife, Jane, 30 female, for five years, which is a long time. Mm -hmm. Our marriage ended after I discovered she had been cheating on me for about a year with multiple men. She got pregnant and, oh, she got pregnant and confessed that she doesn't know if the baby was mine or her affair partners. Oh, Mamma mia. <laughs> a couple of months after the divorce, I tried to reach out to her to see if the baby was mine, but couldn't. And I learned through a friend that she and her new partner had left the country back to back wow. to back. Just pain. Wow. Just pain. Starting off crazy. That was two years ago. And I thought that was that. I love how OP was just like. We All thought right. it's over. Thought it's over. Like he just maybe has a kid in another country with his wife, but, but. thought it was over. Well, it's not over. Okay. It's not over. Okay. Recently, Jane reached out to my mother claiming that her kid is mine and in need of financial help. Jane told my mother that her partner left her when he found out the kid is not his. Now, for context, my mother has been desperate for grandkids, especially since my older brother is gay and child free. And I've been single since the divorce. So, like... The grandmother's like, give me the children. Give me the children. It's my only chance. (laughs) She's been relentless in pressuring me to help out Jane. However, I have my doubts given her infidelity. I find it hard to trust her claims without concrete evidence, which understandable. Yeah. So I've insisted on a paternity test before committing to any financial or emotional support. If the child is indeed mine, I'll gladly step up and fulfill my responsibilities as a father, but I refuse to do so without proper legal documentation. 100%. I mean, I feel like that makes a ton of sense. It does. My mother and Jane are both vehemently against the idea of involving lawyers or going through the legal process. They insist that the child is mine based on similar resemblances, like having blue eyes, which I have, but Jane has blue eyes as well. The issue came to a head when my mother posted a picture on Facebook of her and the kid titled my grandson. Wait. She's already claiming the kid? Already claiming. What's happened? OP's ex-wife is for the streets, but... I feel like mama is also for the streets. Dude, mom, mom, grandmama going a little crazy because that means she went behind his back to to the baby, to the baby confirmed it. Maybe not. Maybe she just wants she's willing it to it to reality. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. God. So now family members and some friends know about this issue and are contacting me when I tell them I don't know if the kid is mine and want to do a paternity test. They are calling me selfish and irresponsible. Really? Selfish and irresponsible for, for not what parenting the kid that isn't yours. That that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I think no. my family members are saying my mother will only say that because she is sure the kid is mine. So basically, they're like, you should be sure too. My friends say I am an asshole for punishing the kid for what my ex-wife did. There is a chance the kid is mine, but I can't shake off my doubts, and I refuse to be manipulated into a situation where I might end up responsible for a child who might not be mine. I'm willing to do what's right, but I need certainty first, but it's driving me crazy with so many people close to me saying I should just take responsibility. My older brother is the only one who is on my side, and he thinks it's because my mother has accepted the kid that others are willing to accept it too, and because of family bonds, which are a major thing there. But I am standing firm on my decision to do a paternity test. So the question is, should OP do a paternity test? Should OP do a paternity test till he accepts the kid? Or should he just accept the kid because even though his wife cheated on him with multiple partners, even though his ex-wife moved to another country and took potentially his child, um, and even though his, uh, and I, I guess like because of all that, maybe just like, just let that all slide and trust this woman <laughs> and then trust maybe that his mom did something to verify that this is the kid and just say, that's my kid. Wanting it. Just that want, is yeah. her verification. I want a grandbaby. It's my grandbaby. Yeah. No. Are you saying do the test or just blindly do accept? the test? <laughs> do the test, please. I beg you on my knees. Don't let everyone, including this grandma, gaslight you. Not Grammy gaslighting. Yeah, we, we don't, can't we don't allow need it. Granny gaslights. <sighs> we don't need Granny gaslights. Not. Yeah. So, hmm, 88 saying DNA test. Jacqueline Chonard saying his mom is jumping right now. Yeah. I think jumping to conclusions. Kim Quant says do the test. It feels like everyone agrees. Unanimous. Unanimous. DNA test. Absolutely. But guess what? 
What? The story gets crazier because there's an update. Oh, my God. There's a big, fat, juicy, thick update, and Ooh. we're going to get into it. Let's do it. A lot of stuff has happened, and I am exhausted dealing with this issue. Despite trying to talk reason to my mother, I got nowhere. My brother and I managed to talk to our aunt, who was on my side, after she learned what has happened. She was able to convince mother to talk to me, and we agreed to meet at her house. Okay, so basically, there's a meeting of the mother and son to see kind of what. And I think also a meeting potentially. With the baby? With the baby. I don't think so yet. I think it's just the mother and son for right now. All right. So she was able to convince my mother to talk to me, and we agreed to meet at her house. This is super messy. First of all, if she was pregnant with OP's baby and left the country, we are talking citizenship issues, visitation issues, especially with judicial differences between different countries. Crazy. That is a great point. Yeah. That is a great point, Signal Imagination. Yeah. Yeah, that's so complicated, so messy, but we're going to dive into the mess and maybe clean it up, or maybe we'll just get dirty together. Who knows? Despite trying to talk reason to my mother, I got nowhere. My brother and I managed to talk to our aunt, who was on my side, after she learned what happened. She was able to convince my mother to talk to me, and we agreed to meet at her house. However, it quickly devolved into arguing, with my mother still insisting the baby is mine (laughs) and accusing both me and my brother of betraying her for not giving her grandkids. Stop. My brother finally snapped and asked her if she was willing to lose two sons over this. And that made her go quiet. There we go. With my aunt's help, we convinced her to talk to Jane for the paternity test. A couple hours after I left, aunt called me and asked me to arrange the test. According to my aunt, it took some arguing between mom and Jane to get her to agree to the test, but Jane eventually agreed. So Jane is the ex-wife. Right. So I scheduled the test at the clinic, and the earliest appointment I could get was three days from that day. I relayed all this to my mother and aunt and got the okay with them. The day before the test, my brother and I got a call from our aunt, and she asked us to come to our mother's house ASAP. When we got there, we saw our mother sitting on the sofa crying i asked what happened and she said jane is gone now i knew jane was back in the country and was visiting my mother every day but i did not know it was my mother who facilitated everything (gasps) my mother revealed that after jane contacted her she flew jane and the baby out put her in an apartment near her house and had been paying rent for her buying her things and the baby things for a month and a half If it is OP's kid, it's so messy. You need both parents' permission for a child to leave the country. This is very serious. The U.S. is very serious about that. It's the reason why my brother couldn't go back to our home country and have to uproot his life in less than two days. We didn't think about that at first. The the citizenship, yeah. the dynamics, can they live there? So many things. Yeah, this is very complicated and getting more complicated. So basically, the mom has been paying everything for a month and a half. I live just an hour from my mother, and I talked to her on the phone four to five times a week, and she never told me. After Jane agreed to the test, she asked for money as she told my mother that after the test confirms that I am the father, she needs to buy some essential home stuff as she intends to stay near there. My mother gave her an amount close to 8000 U.S. dollars. Wow. Honestly, I thought it might have been more. Like, I thought it was like, is she going to 8,000 is a lot. It's a though. lot. It's a lot. But 8,000 is a lot. Right. So $8,000. Insane. After she got the money, she did not come and see my mother. So my mother went to the apartment and saw it was empty. Potentially, she was just using this baby to extort the mom. Absolutely. I asked, why did she ever trust someone who has lied so much before? She said all her friends are grandmothers and they are always with their grandkids and she feels left out when she is with them. I love how it's so like grandma peer pressure. I don't care. I don't (laughs) care. Don't be an idiot. Don't be stupid. Yeah, this is pretty (sighs) stupid. This is like the dumbest and most destructive way to give into peer pressure. Truly. She comes up to me and slapped me. What? And just went crazy, yelling and crying and kept hitting me. Aunt and brother managed to get her off of me. She just kept saying, I was a horrible son. I should have just accepted the baby. (sighs) She then turned to my brother and started yelling at him too, accusing him for instilling his child-free life on me and told him that he was an embarrassment to her. So now it's like going to friendly fire. It's like turning from OP to OP's brother. Literally, like he's like, what did I do? And no, it's didn't like, give her a grandkid. Yeah, exactly. You didn't yeah. give her a grandkid. Oh, then boy. she started off ranting, 
saying Jane was right to cheat on me. That if I had agreed to start a family with Jane back then, this would never have happened. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, if you just had a kid with her, she might not have cheated with you. Just let people cheat on, cheat on, you. on you. Yeah. Just let people cheat on you. Yeah. Why not? It's crazy that the granny has baby fever. You know what? Here we go. Are you ready? If she cheats on you more, I get more grandkids. True. And just accept them all. But, and, and you just have accept to accept them, all. them. You have to accept or them blindly. Or I'll slap you for yeah. being a bad son. Yeah. Case closed. Alejandro wow. Lobato says, Mom is a banana. Truly. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. <laughs> or gone bananas. Oh. Banana. But, uh, <laughs> bananas. Mom is bananas. bananas. <laughs> wow. See, Mom, he even put three bananas know. so you know so it's plural. Yeah, bananas. Yeah, and we still fucked it up. <laughs> you fucked oh it up. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Arya know. says, it's actually very natural, Sam. That I guess like grandmothers wanting grandkids. Not like this. Yeah. My Not mom like my mom is getting to this phase where she's like, When are you gonna pop some out, Sam? Mm, but then she she alternates between like not me not wanting to date anyone. Right. What? How could she be like, When are you gonna have kids and then also get on to you whenever you have a partner that is, uh, wants is fertile? Kids? Yeah. Uh I don't know. She wants the right person. Oh, know? that's sweet. So for context, <laughs> Jane wanted to try for a baby the second year into our marriage. But I had to keep that on hold as I made a major career change and Jane and I both agreed to wait until I was financially secure. I also want to point out that this was not the reason she gave me for infidelity. Oh, she gave a reason. Oh. Great. My go. aunt managed to calm my mother down and somewhat diffuse the situation and asked us to leave. She said she will try to reason with her. I've tried to call my mother the next day, but she's blocked me on everything. My brother... And I agree she needs therapy, but she's not willing to listen or talk to us. And it's fucked. Completely. It's completely fucked. Completely. This is probably the 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 most fuckery per word of any story that I think that we've read in recent memory. And that's a bold claim. Uh, that is a very bold claim. Most we've seen fuckery some per fuckery. word. There's some, <laughs> we've seen some fuckery. And this is the most. Yeah. This is the most. As for Jane, I am furious at her and wanted to find her. I asked my friends to help and told them what happened. Oh, so they're going on like a, a woman hunt for this. Ooh. There is a full all-out all search for this woman to see where she is. If I, someone owed me eight grand, I'd want to know where they are. Yeah, dude. Eight grand, damn, bro. Come on. Cassandra says it'd be a lot worse if the baby was his as well as being a scammer. True. They are idiots. But they apologized to me and stepped up and supported me these past few days. I tried contacting different people through friends and their mutual friends until one of them put me in contact with Claire, who's one of Jane's bridesmaids at our wedding. Okay, so they're they're tracking Jane down. They're like, wow. okay, Jane is on the lam. We need to find anyone who knows her and then work into her social network to basically be like, you're going down. Operation Jane. Operation Find Jane. And you know what we else are going to find? What? Five bucks from Tina Arena on a cross-country road trip with my husband for a honeymoon listening to live in her car. The best way to celebrate. Also, congratulations. Congrats on the honeymoon. Truly. Yeah. No better time to give Roadhead than on a honeymoon. <laughs> I told her what happened, and she was... And head can be given both ways, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it can. Well, I'm just saying, like... I've tried. One... <laughs> and it works. <laughs> One can do it, but I just think one is more dangerous than the other. Which one's more dangerous? The girl getting, depending on how. Why is that more is. dangerous? What are you talking about? If you like make a sudden movement and put on the the brakes or something, yeah, and someone accidentally chomps. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> why are we going down anyway, this road? I told her what happened, and she was shocked at learning about it. According to Claire, <laughs> what's Jane, Claire got to say, Sam? Jane. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Jane is back in the country of her partner. And a couple of days ago, Jane called her and a few others asking for money as she and her partner are going through some financial issues. Claire says she doesn't know if Jane and her partner are separated. So Jane still could still be with the partner, the partner that she like left. Right. Claire says she doesn't know if Jane and her partner are separated. Jane had never told her anything of the sort. She said when she talked with Jane, she only said they were struggling. I told Claire what Jane did and that Jane is insisting that her son is mine. Claire said that Jane told her that the kid is her current partner's two years back. Then she said she needs to talk to Jane and her partner to see what's going on. Claire kept saying she truly does not know what's going on. Neither do we. It's truly. It's insane. 
It's insane. She truly does not know what's going on, but she is going to ask around. And Belle says, how can females get roadhead? You just have to have a long tongue. Claire kept saying she truly does not know what's going on, but she's going to ask around. That was six days ago, and I tried to call Claire, but she won't answer me now. I am not going to pursue this anymore. I have my answer. So that's the update. Not the conclusion I wanted, but I don't care anymore. My mother still hasn't talked to me or my brothers as of right now. I asked my aunt to let my mother know that if she refuses to talk to us or get help, then me and my brother will go permanently no contact as well. Family still says, I am the wrong as it's my fault for not being married or having kids. I told them to fuck off and never contact me. My brother and I only tolerated them for my mother anyway. I now firmly believe that the baby is not mine. So yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of whack. Bad gal CC, thanks for the 10 bucks. Jane knew that the DNA would expose her. That's why she left. Bad gal CC is on to something. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sophia, your presence is requested. Worm Queen. Worm Queen. From the first list of Earths, <laughs> the Worm Queen rises. There she is. To her loyal Come subject, she comes. All right. But you know what we're also going to do? We're going to get into this next story. Yes, we are. And get ready for this. Am I the a-hole for revoking paternity for a child that's not mine? Maybe. This comes from Alternative Sir... 3328, who says, I, 28 male, was slash am in a relationship with a woman, 28 female, and we had a child that's now four years old together, or so I thought. So you thought. I realized recently that the child had brown eyes, and we both have blue eyes. Uh, I don't know why it crossed my mind until now, but it did. And it prompted me to do a paternity test for the boy. Well, the first one came back negative that it's oh that is not his kid not his kid that is not his kid yikes i did another one just to be sure and the other one said it was negative as well okay so we got two double, negative paternity tests that's right so that is double confirmation uh but okay we have seen it on the show before where somebody did have a paternity test that was wrong do you think yeah. this is true I mean, okay, so what we know is paternity tests are generally like, what, 99.9% yes. effective? Mm -hmm. But he took that, two. Huh? He took two. He took two, he took two. So hopefully they're both. But it could be, we did have a case where yes. there was a paternity test that was not accurate because they mixed up the samples. That's right. I think we've mixed up samples and babies. Yeah. yeah. This, we've mixed up babies. Show. But I want to be switched up in the story. Let's see. Um, least to say I was devastated, but I kept it to myself for two weeks. Okay, so the partner doesn't even know. Only OP knows at this point. But to me, the trauma of this discovery changed things. My feelings for my ex-girlfriend turned to hatred. And I don't know why, but towards the child. <gasps> no. That's not wait, good. wait, but is it confirmed that this kid is He's confirmed. not his? He's yeah. taken two tests. So he has hatred for the confirmed. kid. He has hatred for the kid. Yeah. It's misdirected. It's sad, it is but sad. like... I understand that there's so many emotions in yeah. being lied to. Yes. Is he still taking care of the kid? Right now, He's yes. There. He hasn't yeah. said anything yet. Yeah. Oh. The girlfriend has no yeah. idea. He's not oh. told anyone. No idea. Yo, you got to say something. Yeah. The girlfriend and the baby has no idea. So, uh, Obi says, it's like I've just gone numb and I've resented any time I've had to spend with a child. Oh, damn. I'm aware that the child is not at fault and I wish it... It, no harm, uh, but this real oh, it, it, dude, that's Which pretty tough. It, it. Oh, <laughs> that little <Yeah>. worm <laughs> with I no feel queen. Like after the baby's born, you can't call it an it. A hundred percent. You really <laughs> can't, though. Yeah. You really can't. Yeah, you know the gender. Come Just on call now. it a him or a her. Golly, hey, we don't know the baby's pronouns yet. Yeah, you could call it a they, but why call Step it, an it it down? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> call it. I would just call it anything other than it, baby. <laughs> The, yeah. baby. the baby, the baby, the baby works, babe, the baby, babe, what's up, my babe? babe, um, but this realization changed something fundamental with my emotions. I've thought about the situation long and hard and about the situation. I've realized that I don't want to do this anymore. I did not consent to raising another man's child. I don't want to spend years feeling like crap raising someone else's child. I mean, yeah. Which is fair. This, you're, this is totally normal. You're not yeah. obligated. Just like Momo the G isn't obligated to donate five euros, but we appreciate it. All hail, uh, what was it, Riley? Worm Queen. The Worm Queen. All oh, hail the Worm Queen. What else would it be? Yeah. That's right. It definitely Who else would wouldn't they be, us. be hailing? From your loyal German subject. Guten Tag. 
<laughs> um, three days ago, I confronted her. Why is this so funny? I didn't, I didn't read the whole comment before I said that. <laughs> what did you say? I said, who else would they be hailing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> But I didn't see the whole comment. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I totally missed that. Let's, so who else would the right. German be hailing, right? No, 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 no. I'm explaining it. I was explaining the joke. But it's not against Momo the G. It's not against Momo the G. Sorry, sorry. Okay. That, was a, that was a funny thing for me. It should yes. have been shared. But now I understand. I was outside of the loop. Oh, my God. We love you, Momo the G. Don't bring Riley into I'm the sorry, loop. I'm sorry. Yeah. I... I it wasn't oh, intentional. No, you don't. Yes. You're, you, you don't. Because we don't want to ruin Momo your innocence. Yeah. Of. Momo no, 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 no. It, it wasn't innocent. intentional. I just didn't read that whole thing. Exactly. Let's continue. Let's get back <laughs> to the story. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, three days ago, I confronted her. She broke down and so did I. And she admitted that she had a fling on her girl's vacation, but she didn't know I wasn't the father. Yep. Been exposed. She understood I wanted to break up with her, but when I told her I would seek to revoke paternity and break off contact with a child, she got mad. Angry. She said that I had a responsibility for the boy, that he loved me, and I should still be the father to him. Yo, that's crazy. Father or not. How about you had a responsibility to me by not cheating on yeah. me, huh? And not lying. Like, to me, it's the lying about the child. Yeah. It's just such a huge... Th and I understand that that's a... Sc I mean, you shouldn't have cheated. You're, yeah. you're yeah. dirty. You're a stinky, stinky, stinky woman. You're a stinky you're woman. For, for cheating. But, like, I know it's hard, but you have to. And also, also, yeah. really quick, really quick. I don't know if I believe her. I think she's downplaying the whole thing by basically saying it was just a one-time thing. It was a fling. I think she was doing it on the reg. And like yeah, that because, is her out to yeah. make it like oh this only like like dude I heard it takes an average of seventy six times of con continuously hooking up to conceive. Interesting. An average of seventy six times. Yeah. And of course, there's you know those random one night stands, but yeah, but I don't know, I don't yeah. know, I don't know. Did this research yeah. come from Samuel Donner University? Uh, I, I I was looking it up. I was looking it up. From it was on Reddit, actually. It was on oh. Reddit. But yeah, so I think she was continuously cheating, and she's trying to downplay the, the like how much she was cheating by just saying, "Oh, it was a one-time thing." That yeah. is true. Pepe is saying, "Sam, it only takes one time." So they're 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 trying to disregard my my theory my of science. cheating. But seventy-six times, yes, it only takes one time. Blah 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 yeah. blah. But I don't agree. It. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Or I do agree with that, but I don't believe her. That it, she's saying it's only mm, one time. That's true. It's a good theory. It's a good yeah. theory. Conspiracy. It's my conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy. Go. It wasn't just Boom. one time. There we go. Riley. Oh. Happy now. And there it is. OP responds. I said no and she got mad. So I felt I better remove myself from the situation and went to my buddy's house where I've been staying. Now we live in Sweden and I know I can petition for the court to revoke paternity. And it's not like the child will starve for anything. We have a functioning social safety net. Shout out, Sweden. Um, and as for the relationship with the boy, I just don't feel like I want it anymore. Don't know why, but my feelings just aren't there anymore. I feel like I've been connected. As I said, I did not consent to raise somebody else's child. Um, but Avery K did donate two dollars. Hey, chat, use rubbers. That is right. Don't listen to Sam. Okay, Wait, I'm not stay saying protected. Don't just raw dog everywhere. Don't listen to him. I'm just saying I don't believe her. How old is the child? Four. <laughs> I love how you Four said that. years old, and he's calling the child an it. Yep. I will say, I I was operating under the impression the whole time that this child was a baby. This child it is, is a baby. Four years old. That's a toddler. But ladies and gentlemen. We are very close to finding the conclusion of the story. As I said, I did not consent to raising someone else's child. My buddies are all the same, but my mother thinks that I should think about the boy. Oh, he we went from the it's boy. Think about the boy. So Reddit, am I the a-hole? And there's a quick edit. Um, I saw someone commenting about the use of describing of it to describe a yeah, child. That's what we were you. talking about. Thank you. It's a mistranslation on my part. Oh, okay. Using neutral form for a child oh. is not considered bad or dehumanizing in Swedish. Oh. I did not realize the connotation it would have in English. Uh, so this guy okay, okay, doesn't you're, speak. You're off the hook. You're absolved, my Swedish friend. Isn't I absolve you. There we go. In nomine patre, filius, you know who, who, You know who accepted a child who wasn't his? Who? Joseph. Yeah. 
Whoa. Is that actually what you're going to yes. say? <laughs> <laughs> Big Josie in the and building. And you know who he turned out to be? Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. I'm really rubbing off on her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Riley, I went through 14 hey, years of this. Yeah, don't rub off do on anything. my sister, Riley. <laughs> yeah, stop. Stop, okay? Yeah. Calm down. I can know a lot about religion and be agnostic, okay? <laughs> You're just going to fuel the fire okay. of people thinking y'all are in a relationship. All right. Ooh, we is but there more? Is there an update? That is Give the me. end of the story. No. That's the end. It is the absolute end of the story. And the real question that I have for you all is, is OP the a-hole or not? Put it in the comments below for not wanting to stay with the child. He's definitely not the a-hole. But yeah. like, here, M. M. Kim has a good point. You can still visit the child. Revoking paternity is not that's, no contact. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. that he, he should still play a Be role, involved. but he doesn't necessarily have to play it like a financial role. Absolutely, yeah. Because he, he does not Yeah, yeah, he, he can be like an, an, an uncle, yeah. you know? You know what else I want to come through? What? This, this next, next story. Story? story. <laughs> Am I the a-hole for telling my brother he's an idiot for wanting a paternity test? Hmm. <laughs> Did you think it was just he's an idiot? Is that yeah. where you thought that was good? Is that, you really am just I the a-hole for <laughs> telling really my brother he's an submitted idiot? Submitted by Dofia Sonner. <laughs> <laughs> no relation. <laughs> oh my goodness. So throwaway 836252 says, I, 20 male, have a brother called Jack, 29 male who is married to his wife, Amy, 26 female. About two years ago, they had their first child, Lisa. On our side of the family, we all look extremely alike. Both of our parents have brown hair and brown eyes. So do me and Jack. Amy, on the other side, is from Norway and looks very different. She has blonde hair and blue eyes and generally has a very Scandinavian look to her, opposed to our very American look. What is an American look? I don't know. America is so diverse. America, I don't think you can have a... A general American, American look. look. One could say I look maybe like kind of Swedish or whatever. You literally said versus... you look uh, Native American. Because I never have, said that. You said you, said you, said you had what, I, 5%, I have Native 7%. American heritage. John was like very small, very <laughs> small. To be clear, to be crystal clear, I should I should bring a picture of my grand my grandparents and great grandparents. So and, and can see. which which, which one's Native American? Uh, my great. great Grandparents, great grandparents. Oh, you're great. Okay, so it's not that far off. No, no I no. mean it's pretty. The percentage is pretty small. Yeah, it's pretty small. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are the most American. I was gonna say the only way that they have a very American look is if they're Native American. That's the only way you could have. Which a very is why American John. Look. Yeah. Which is why <laughs> it is me. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so to what I thought was no one's surprise, of course, Lisa got features from her mom. They look pretty much identical, and it seems like they look more alike as time passes on. This was all fine from my understanding. I don't know why it would even be a problem. But about one year ago, my brother started telling me about how his coworker has a daughter that looks like the female version of him. Hmm. Has a coworker, daughter that you said. looks coworker. like the female version A coworker has a daughter they were working, grinding late grinding night on late. something mm -hmm. else. He said that everyone said that the firstborn, especially if it's a daughter, is the spitting image of their father. I didn't find it that weird as I heard that before, but I think it's kind of obvious that genetics work weird and in different ways. And what is common is not always what happens to everyone. I told him just that, that genetics works in surprising ways sometimes. However, as time went on, he started saying more stuff like that, like asking me where I thought Lisa got her blonde hair from, which obviously was from Amy. He did this with other stuff, like the nose, the eyes, the little mannerisms Lisa has. It was extremely obvious it was from Amy, which I always told him. Now I have found out that he is demanding that they take a paternity test, as mm. he is extremely sure that Lisa is not his. Amy mm. is extremely distraught by this and has tried to explain to him that Lisa is his, that she got stuff from Amy, and that happens. He's threatening her with divorce if she doesn't agree to do a paternity test, as that would be his confirmation on that she cheated. She got to her parents' house and broke down, telling us all this. Our parents have texted him and called him. I have too. But he's now angry with us too because we're taking a cheater's side, his words. She and Lisa are staying with us and she's extremely confused where all this is coming from. I think this is like the classic case of if you think someone cheated, be sure. Yeah. Because so sure. when you make that accusation, it will it may not be it might not be a deal breaker deal breaker, yeah. but it will damage the relationship yeah. in some way. 
And he's just basically making baseless accusations. And yeah. like, it's it's cheating. Plus, you lied to me to like trick me into like fathering the kid. That to me is like, yeah. so if you if you're gonna accuse someone of yeah. that, you better be, you better damn, be damn sure. sure, damn sure. That's a bomb to drop. I called my brother, and yesterday and today, and this time he picked up the phone. I managed to have a conversation with him and asked him why, if he had any evidence that Amy ever did cheat, or why he thought so. He basically told me that he didn't have any evidence, but he knew and was 100% sure on he that. He had a feeling. He had a gut feeling that I she was knew. cheating on him. Carmel Never says projecting much. That's our mom's oh, name. Yep. Yeah, that's our mom's yeah, name. Yeah, are you my mom? You can't have that you name can't if have you're that not name. our mom. Yeah. <laughs> or is it your is mom? Is it yeah. our mom? Are you our mom? No, that doesn't look like our mom. He told me that firstborn daughters always behave, look, and are carbon copies of their fathers. That's not true. But Lisa is not even remotely like that. He said that if it isn't like that, then Lisa would at least have some features from him, which she don't. I don't think that's true. Mm. <laughs> Do tell. I'm the secondborn daughter, and I'm a carbon copy of my father. <laughs> that's true. And I am the firstborn son. Oh, well, no, I guess I'm the firstborn daughter, but I'm the secondborn child. Mm. I was getting angry at him because it just seems so weird to even come to that conclusion. I told him that he was an idiot for all of this and that he will regret all of this later. He hung up and is even madder at all of us, saying that Amy has manipulated us all and that we can't crawl back to him when the truth is out. He's very he, sure. Oh, he's so he's sure. He's extremely sure. This man has never been sure about anything. <laughs> Truly. I have not told Amy that this is the reason or that I have talked to him because I don't think she'll react that well to hearing this. However, my parents are saying that it was extremely unnecessary of me to behave like that when I got the chance to talk to him, as this may have been our chance to have a mature and serious conversation with him. So am I the a-hole for how I reacted? And there is an edit. And an update. And an update. Ooh, in Queen. terms of uh, is OP the a-hole, yeah. I don't. No, so. his brother no. is an idiot. I mean, yeah. like, yeah, is I mean, his brother an a hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's obvious. Who does he think the kid looks like again? His wife. His wife. Wait, he thinks he thinks the kid looks too much like his wife. Unacceptable. That's what he's saying. And he's like, it should look more like me. Yeah, yeah. and he's like, Why the fact that it doesn't like look like me yeah. means that she's cheating. Yes. That is even crazier. Yeah. If like the the kid looked slightly like someone else, else yeah, right, like cause for alarm yeah but it looks like his partner it just looks like his partner that's crazy how, she's just how, got how, strong genes yeah i have seen a few comments about this and i thought i would try my best to answer but since i'm just hearing about this from amy and i was not there during the whole ordeal i don't have a hundred percent off the answers oh her hundred percent of the answers and they're basically just what she has told me he sat her down the brother told her that he was going to be honest with her then he said that he did not think lisa was his that he basically knew she cheated on him and that he would do a paternity test. He didn't go behind her back and do it. Why? I can't answer. Then they had a fight and I don't know who left first. I don't know exactly what was said. All I know is that my brother is at a friend of his and Amy came here. Amy is not upright refusing the test either, but when he brought it up, she was extremely hurt by him insinuating that she would cheat on him. She's been with my brother for seven years. They had a seemingly great relationship up until this. She's mostly hurt by the accusations and that her relationship is most likely never going to be the same. She told me that the last couple of years now just feel like a lie, that he, for the most part, thought she was cheating. Uh, edit two... The test will happen. I will update in the meantime if anything happens that is worth updating for. If not, I will try my best to just update with the results when they're done. And there are some relevant comments and then an update. Oh. But yeah, I mean, he just sounds like a total asshat. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, and he's going to feel so stupid if they do get it because it seems like they are getting the paternity test. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once, yeah. He, once he gets the paternity test and it's, oh, dude. All right. Conspiracy yeah. theory. Conspiracy yeah, theory. I think when he um, when he gets the paternity test, he's gonna be like, "You were still cheating." Though. Yeah, when he gets yeah. the paternity test, uh, and it says that it was his, mm -hmm. I think he's going to reveal that he was cheating. <gasps> oh. oh, he's like, it yeah. was all a test because I had to make sure because I was cheating on you the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I think, I that's think what my conspiracy theory is that he's gonna get it back, and he's gonna be like, "Well, that still doesn't prove that you weren't cheating on me." I think he's gonna, oh, double, so he's gonna down. double down. Yeah. He's just he's just like so far into his own insanity yeah. he can't he can't even back down now. He can't even see mind. the light. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. But let's get back to reality. One commenter says, does your brother have any mental illness? Because that seems like a huge mental leap and his reaction seems very out of touch with reality. Mm. When the test is done and it shows she is his daughter, you better believe his wife will file for divorce. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or she should. She should. OP says, I knew that he was diagnosed with anxiety disorder in his early teens, but he apparently got better when he was about 20. I didn't know about it or really have any recollection of it since I was very young during the time and they kept it away from me. But apparently it was really bad anxiety. It doesn't seem too far off to assume it could relate to what is happening now. Yeah, that might have. Another commenter says, why didn't he just do the test himself? Why does his wife have to be the one to test their kid? He would need to submit his DNA anyway. Opie says he told Amy he would do a paternity test as he believed she cheated and that Lisa was not his. He said that he would do it, but he wanted to be truthful to her. I don't really know how everything went, but they have not seen each other since the fight. And there is an update. Hi, everybody who will read this update. I'm sorry for the wait, but I hope I can answer it all. First things first, the paternity test was done and the results got back. Lisa is... My brothers. Okay. No doubt there. Okay. okay. For, I, for a Shocker. second, my, my brain yeah. twitched and I thought it was like, it's not his child. It's yeah. his, like. The, oh, the Lisa bro- is mine. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. So exactly. it is but his child. Everything's yes. good. How do we think he's going to react? Double down. I think he's going to double down. I, I think Sophia's double prediction down. is right. Yeah. 100%. You were cheating. Yep. So some of you thought that my brother was cheating on Amy. And from what we all have gathered, he is not cheating on her. Uh, now to what drove him to this point. We think we know. I mentioned in a comment that my brother had anxiety when he was younger. Now I know that anxiety was more severe than I ever thought. It is most likely what happened again. His anxiety has mainly been pointed towards other people. He doesn't trust that they want what was best for him. One example they told me was that he apparently refused to sit beside someone in classrooms because he thought they would take their pens and stab him. Oh, Ooh, this oh dear. Sounds like, yeah. That's pretty, yeah. pretty severe. <laughs> this is just one example. He also believed that people were conspiring against him, especially close friends. What is that? Because that's like paranoia. That is yeah, schizophrenia. Yeah, that's, that's paranoid like schizophrenia. schizophrenic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that sounds a little bit I more think... intense than just generalized anxiety. No, totally. no, it's, it definitely yeah. is more intense. I yeah. mean, I, have you ever seen A Beautiful Mind? No. With Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, that him. does sound, I mean, obviously we're not doctors, <laughs> but that does sound like, you know, schizophrenia. Yeah. Where we are doctors. We are doctors. Mm-hmm. And Certified. This, this is advice. Yeah, this is no, advice. this is not advice. This is not <laughs> medical yeah. advice. No, especially because if he's thinking that people are conspiring against him, that makes sense why he would, yeah. you know, be like, based off nothing. would. So what happened was that one of his coworkers had brought their daughter to the office one day. And everyone talked about how his daughter looked like him if he was a girl and 30 years younger. After this, they apparently started talking about genetics in the lunchroom for some time. Like almost every dad showed pictures of their daughters who looked just like them. All moms showed pictures of their sons who just who looked just like them. I feel like that is our the case for us. What? I think I look like more like we somehow look a lot like each other, but I also look more like my dad and you look more like mom. I think we look like a combination. I don't know. I, no, I think we look like a combination, but I think I look more like dad and you look more like mom. I think we look the exact same. Yeah, but also, we, <laughs> how I, can, if we look the exact same, I don't know. how could we look more like one parent? I don't magic. Know. Yeah, that That's doesn't how. make any it sense. The magic of genetics. Yeah. Of course, this was not the case for everyone, but for many, this apparently sparked something in my brother. He started obsessing over genetics, and what confirmed his thoughts was that brown eyes and hair should outweigh blue eyes and blonde hair. That's not true. Uh, he fed into these thoughts and obsessed over them for almost a year. He became, uh, what's his name, Mendel, the guy who did the peas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the guy who did B, B he, he, Mendel. He, he did the peas. He did the, he peas, did the peas like A A A B yeah. B A B oh. B A. So um, let's get back. Let's get into back it. Into it. it. Yeah. Also, for why he just didn't do the paternity test, he wanted to show Amy how easy it was to not keep secrets. He thought if he was honest about knowing about her being unfaithful and being honest about wanting a paternity test, it would be easier for her to come clean. It was also so that he could walk out of it knowing he did everything 100% right while she did not. Yikes. 100% right? You did it 100% wrong. Amy doesn't want a divorce right now, at least. 
Oh, a oh, that's good. I, well, for him, not for her, maybe. And my brother should be extremely thankful for that. They're going to go to couples therapy and individual therapy. Amy for things unrelated and Jack for, well, all of this and his issues with anxiety. They're going to live separate for a while, but they're very insistent on making this work. Jack is not completely fine. While we do want to trust him, we think that the answers from the paternity test is just breaking things down for him. We have tried to get him into therapy as quickly as possible, but we couldn't find any available appointments until next week, which is still quicker than expected. He's still very sorry for all of this. He had a very emotional reaction to seeing the test, and he kept telling Lisa that, you know, daddy loves his little girl when he was here. Aww. If there still are questions you want to answer, I will try to answer them as best as I can. There is an edit and one relevant comment. Edit. I talked with my parents about it this week because to be it, Sounded like something more severe. Oh, worse than just anxiety from what I've yep, read. Yeah, yep, that's what we thought. But they told me that it was just anxiety that it portrays different in different people and that he just happens to be one of those affected by it more. I've never suffered from anxiety, so I kind of just took their word for it. If it is something more severe, I want him to get the help that he deserves. I will talk to Amy about this because she also just questioned if it is just anxiety. Uh, relevant comments, commenter. I really hope you can get your brother into neuropsychological testing for a confirmed diagnosis. That doesn't sound like anxiety. It sounds like it's a different diagnosis with anxiety as a symptom. I agree. Mm. That can be dangerous to others and possibly more so to your brother, depending on his guilt and depression levels. Please get him help. OP says, I thought about that. I asked my parents if it was possible. It can be something worse than anxiety. But they have been very insistent on that it is just a severe case of anxiety. I have never experienced that myself, but from what I've read, what he experiences sounds a lot more complex than anxiety. Mm. And that's yeah. the end of Jessica the Jessica Bell says it's not anxiety, it's paranoid delusions. Yeah, yeah. 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 That sounds a lot more accurate. Yeah. A yeah. lot more accurate. It does. Yeah. I mean, this person just needs help at this point. You know? Yeah. 100%. It's clearly affecting their life. Yes. And, and their maybe day -day. that's why the wife is deciding not yeah. to divorce him because she's, she's like, like, you oh, actually have yeah, yeah. a problem that we should work on. Yeah. Cosmosis says he was totally diagnosed. Poor dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Yes. Mental illness is not an excuse to be a dick. But I think like this is a, a situation where, yeah. I mean, it. it Maybe it's an excuse. Yeah. Well, at what point? Yeah. At what point do you lose control if yeah. you're having a literal like uh, delusion or uh, people have um what what is it when you see when you see things um what uh, hallucinations hallucinations right yeah. yeah that's a case where it's like it's low key out of their control yeah. and I wonder if OP had the correct uh, uh, uh medication and other like uh, when would uh, they be able to get yeah, under if control they had would a this proper have happened diagnosis. if they had the proper diagnosis yeah. and everything yeah. to care for it would that have happened right? but you know what we got to do what we got to get into this next it's story that's right it's a call -in. oh is it yeah you want to you want to hit it yeah, yeah let's hit this call so but the time I trained a crow to attack my ex <gasps> I didn't pick that one out. Did you I just actually pick that want out? to learn about training I, crows? I really want to learn. I we Let's have do it. so many crows, and I need to know. So I, we have to crow call army call. I want. Let's I want to crow train crows. army. When I was younger, I thought I could speak to crows. You still can. They just don't know Maybe what you're saying. Maybe you can relearn your ability yeah. with this person. Yeah. Well, because I got hello. Hello. We heard you have a crow army. This is OKOP with John, Sam, and Sophia. Who are we talking with? Oh my God! How crazy! This is Chanel. Chanel. Yes. How did you start speaking to crows? Mm. <laughs> I didn't really start speaking to them. I take more credit, and probably I should, but <laughs> uh, my ex husband, I went out and crow that I had been feeding because we lived out kind of we're in California, but we lived out in like a rural area okay so i would feed like all the wildlife coyotes rabbits crows, kind of everything. like snow white or like cinderella where like you go into the woods and there's just like a <laughs> billion crows like and deer around you and you're like la 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 <laughs> i would like to think so but i i can imagine so okay so is. you're you're here with all the wildlife <laughs> yeah in the forest chanel and then what yes um well, Edgar, my favorite crow, because I I am a I'm a goth girl at heart. Like well, still Edgar Allan Poe, <laughs> a goth girl at oh, heart. Yeah. Oh yeah, that actually so, is, yeah, Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe Edgar is Allen a great Poe. name. Yeah. He would come daily, twice a day, and call to get my attention. And one day, I I think he was watching football or something, 
and Edgar was annoying him, so he came out, threw a rock. Sorry, I have to miss that bird. But he, Edgar flew away, <gasps> off he goes, and I was so upset that I missed my, my visit, so I gathered up all his favorite little snacks and sat on the front porch, and sure enough, he returned, so I fed him smorgasbord you know oh so you were spoiling <laughs> edgar to oh, bring him over man. on the human side you were like this was a bribe in yeah. the form yeah. of food to make sure edgar <laughs> liked you well yeah because if you i don't know if you know but crows are extremely intelligent oh and yeah recognize faces did you have a huh? an end goal when you started mm. feeding this crow were you like okay what, all right, I have one crow, and then once I have a hundred crows, I will have um, my crow yeah. You'll be my general. And I can attack yeah. anyone that I want. Like, wh what was the crow vision, you know? Mm. Man, that would be my ultimate goal is to just have this crow murder of crows just yep. follow me down the street when I walk the dog. But <laughs> Dude, ultimate goth babe right Edgar. there. Edgar. I'm, I'm still working on it. Um, okay. How many crows what? do you have in your so army right now? Right now, I don't know because I live in a more suburban area now, so I, they're hard to recognize and identify. But but I think you can maybe like you can have, crows exist everywhere. I think you could create a new crow army. Oh yeah, there are crows. I just there <laughs> I they don't have distinguishing features, so I'm not uh, sure how many are returning crows right, right. and how many are just random crows, but. No, I still do my due diligence with my unsalted shelled peanuts and blueberries and all that jazz. So one day you that. will have the crow army, but it's still it's still <laughs> the midst of being built. Yeah, I hope. But I mean, with with Edgar, my goal wasn't to have him actually attack my ex husband. <laughs> it was hmm. just a very happy kind of side effect of my feeding him. And then him being an asshole and going and throwing the rock at him and missing. So from there on out, any and every time my ex would go out and try to go to work, come back home from work, didn't matter. Edgar just dies bombed him. He <gasps> fly, flew by his head. Oh, and to make, to make matters worse, like if I went out, he would like kind of come. I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually ironically afraid of birds, but I never tried to hand feed him or anything but he yeah. would kind of hop up to me and you know he, he was cool with me and he would kind of circle around me um if I was walking out with my ex to like you know get away from her <laughs> so oh I knew God. what was up so he the crow would dive the bomb your husband or your ex husband. He never forgets a face. But yeah. if he was around you, it would be totally fine. Like like you would kind of circling. Had a, yeah, you had yeah. a protective yeah, shield. He would circle me. He would protect me from my like he would be like back off. He, so he he wouldn't dive bomb me, but he would just fly in circles. Like, it's like like almost like to threaten. Like, like yeah 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 back back to f up man. <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm so York glad you have the crows on your side, yeah. and honestly, it seems like you've been using them to do good in the world. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Deal justice. That is my ultimate goal. Well, thank I, you I, so I, much for calling in. <laughs> we appreciate you so much. It's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? Just This is your reminder to keep building your crow yes. army. Yes, yeah, don't stop. stop. No matter where you are in the mm -hmm. world, yeah. there are crows. There are always crows. And you can build your army. Be their general. You got it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Chanel. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Incredible. Pro army. Not We're doing a, a call in, baby. Oh, I found out are... that my ex was sentenced to six years in prison yesterday, and I don't know how to feel. Wow. Sentenced to six years in prison? That is a lot. All right. <laughs> what a switch up. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I okay, can. This can is the. This is the OKOP crew. Uh, we heard that you have a ex that's going to jail for six years and you're feeling uncertain about it. Could you break this down for us, please? And it might be your baby daddy? Might be your baby daddy? Yes. Yes, so it, it is. This is JC, by the way. Hi, everyone. Hey, hey. JC, hey. what's up? Um, so I'll give a quick breakdown. So I've known him since we were in high school. We were like high school sweethearts. I ended up getting pregnant right after I graduated from high school. Mm. We decided to 
get back together. It was a bit of an on and off relationship. Right. And throughout that entire relationship, um, he was just very emotionally, any type of abuse that you can think of, he was all of that. Oh my God. Um, so I, it got to a point where a, something really blew up one day. Cops had to be called. I mean, he was like pinned down to the floor by the police officers. And after that point, I was just like, I'm done. Oh I my don't God. want to deal with this guy anymore. Um, Good for you for yeah. deciding I, finally to get out of there. Good. Yeah, I decided enough was enough. Um, I mean, he would still try to get in contact with me. I mean, I never really withheld him from really seeing my son, even though I, in hindsight, I should have given what happened next. But he got with this one girl. I recently knew or like learned who exactly she was. And to say the least, he got nine charges put on him. By her? A lot of like, by her, yes, by this girl. He got arrested back in December, and I recently learned from my ex-mother-in-law that for a minimum, he'll be in there for six years, max 20 years. Oh, Oh, my goodness. So are they, like, still deciding his sentence then? Like, does he have to go to court to Um, get that? or? So I guess supposedly, I think she had told me it was going to be six, but reading, like, the court documents online, it seems like it's probably going to end up being a lot more. She's always been the type of, like, even without, like, through our entire relationship, I would always try to come to her with the stuff that he had done. Yeah. And she would always try to defend him in some way, Mm -hmm. trying to put it on me. Mm -hmm. Um, He seems dangerous. I think it's probably going to end up being a lot more... But yeah, I mean, even when I had talked to her, because I had called her, I hadn't talked to her in a while. And I was like, hey, mother-in-law, you need to tell me exactly what happened. You need to give me the full story. Because she, at first, when he did get arrested, my mom, we didn't know. We had no idea. And my mom, she told me, she was like, you know, JC, I just really have a feeling that he did something like really wrong. Like, I don't know why. And mom's tuition is always right. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, So we looked him up. And we found like on the inmate search, you can look people up and it said his name. And I was like, oh, so we tried to confront her. We didn't tell her that we knew that he was locked up. And she said, oh, he just went out of the country to see family because um, both of his parents are immigrants. And she was like, oh, yeah, he just went to go see family. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Why is it's she covering good. that up? You um, think? Yeah, because I feel like it would. I mean, if she was the one of the ones that like maybe helped confirm these nine charges, why would she want, I feel like she would need allies, I guess, in this almost. And and I think now that, you know, back then, I think she was just kind of trying to save face. I mean, she mm. knew what he had done to me throughout the relationship. Um, so I think she was really just kind of trying to really save it, like the embarrassment, I guess. I think she was really embarrassed of having to come out with the fact that her son was locked up. Which yeah. I I totally get, but at the end of the day, like I am the mother of your grandchild, I feel like I have a right to know what, what you know what happened. Yeah. Great point. Yeah. And I mean, still to this day, I mean, when I talk to her, um, she she even though she went to every single one of his court dates, she refuses to tell me the exact full story of what happened. Um, really? She yeah. tried to say you know give me little details here and there, but I honestly think it's a lot worse than what she's trying to come off especially with how many years he has laid on him yeah um, renee in the chat says she was deaf embarrassed i think that's that's probably yeah. what it is i mean it's a hard thing as yeah. a mother i imagine I'm to sure. like have your son do that and still try to yeah she's in denial yeah i totally agree and you know having a child myself i guess still embarrassed too as well but i don't know i think i was just mad at her and i mean even when i try to talk to her she tried to almost put it on the girl saying like oh i never liked her i knew she was up to no good and it's like well obviously like they did he did something wrong i don't understand why she's still trying to defend him and at first i really felt bad for her after having our conversation after i did find out how long he was going to be gone for but thinking back on it now these past couple days i'm just like ah it's a big ick because like you you still can't admit that your son did something wrong yeah and and i mean like you don't get nine different charges yeah. by accident it's not like no. a hook. your ex getting nine charges and this like the woman that he was with like she's not to blame for that no he's no. to blame yes for doing something that would get him nine charges yeah. and i think the mother-in-law is just trying to like you know shift blame yeah. anywhere she can but her yeah. son yeah, yeah. To yeah. reduce face. her own embarrassment yeah yeah she's trying to reduce yeah. embarrassment and like how do you feel about him 
being in jail? Because, I mean, it is your baby daddy. So it's like, how does that feel for you? Does it feel weird in any way? It is, it is a bit weird. I Given his charges, I will say, like, a couple of them, they are domestic violence related. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that she was able to do what I couldn't do because mm. there were a lot of times where I could have, you know, done something to protect myself. Like in terms of child. reporting him when he was yes. being violent? Yes, because yeah. I mean, there were multiple times where like the police did show up in a lot of these cases. And I'm sure I have a ton of different reports sitting in their files, but I just never decided to press anything. I think I was mm. just young. I was scared. Um and I, I grew up with both of my parents in the household, so I think I just kind of clung on to that belief that he would just get better and that I wanted, you know, both of us to be there as, like, a family. Yeah. Obviously, now, years after breaking up with him, I realized that that probably wasn't like, the best idea or the best, like, the healthiest mindset. Yeah. Um, it's been a mess. <laughs> I don't know. Because, like I said, at first, I felt a little bad. I really did. But after hearing like his mom talk, and I mean, even he told his mom, oh, tell her to wait for me once I get out. And I'm just like, dude, are you serious? Like, wow. you know, I think <laughs> I'm going to be the one to do that because I know that's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, that, but I well, have went uh, and I, I talked to my parents and I have gotten the, you know, the court proceeding going. So yeah. I just hope everything goes good from here and I don't have to deal with him for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing that's kind of holding me over. Would you, situation. if they asked, would you testify against him, you think? Oh, I totally would. I think I have a lot to say um, about what he's done. And, and like I told you guys, I'm I'm honestly not surprised about when I read those charges. I'm just like, uh, I, you know, if I were to bring him there, that probably would have been, you know, the same outcome for me, too. So, right. yeah. Wow. But I just, <laughs> I guess I just wanted to vent a little bit. I just yeah. wanted to get your guys' input on it. But yeah, thank you for listening. I'm yeah, of just course. Taking thanks it day for day by day, and I'm you know thanks for doing telling everything us. I can for my son now to protect us. Yeah, of course. Well, is, is there anything that I guess you're like conflicted on, like what to do? Like, because I think maybe I imagine one of the things is like, what kind of access do you give him to your son? To your yeah. son? Yeah. Is that a question that you have um, in your mind, or is there no question yeah. there? Um, honestly, I think for a long time there was a question in my mind because I felt like if I did go to the courts, I think I really have a lot of evidence even to this day. Yeah. I've always made sure to save a lot of it. And I think for a long time, I wanted him to still be there, but knowing that he did this to another woman and the woman has a child too. And there was, um, I won't get into too much detail, but there was a couple charges as far as like, you know, against like children yeah. in there too. And I'm just yeah. like, I don't know what he would even do if he was alone with my child. I mm -hmm. know how violent yeah. he gets and I wouldn't even want him to be around him. Yeah. By himself. yeah, I think you're making all the right choices yeah. and like your focus is on your child and, you know, making sure they're good and protected. And um, I think, you know, you've had a lot of growth. So kudos yeah. to you. I think. Yeah, right. I mean, it feels like you're down to testify. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're down to do what is best for your child, yes. which I, it seems like not letting him access to your kid. Yeah. Which I, he's lost the right to. Yeah. Totally. Um, Absolutely. Million percent. Both legally and I think morally as yep. well. So it, it seems like you're doing everything right um is there anything that you're conflicted on at all like is there any like, like i don't know i guess to the, everyone that's like listening and watching like is there any like uh questions that you have uh for them of like anything honestly i think if you've ever been like anyone who's watching and they've, they've, they've been in the same position as me just don't like be strong find yourself a good connection or a support network um i was lucky enough to have my both of my parents my family have always been extremely supportive of me I mean, no matter what decisions I've made and what I've dealt with as far as dealing with him and his mother. Um, so I would just say, and even if you feel like you have doubts, just listen to the people around you. Um, just know that whatever decision you make, um, that, you know, hopefully you have people that will be there for you. Like I said, I was lucky. And, yeah. you know, with the decisions I'm going to be making, because I do plan on going for – um, hopefully full custody, if not full custody. I think that may be kind of yeah. the same, just depending on where you're at. It takes a while, especially when you've been through like an abusive relationship, you, you know, mm -hmm. especially if there's a lot of gaslighting, you may not know like how to feel at first. And I really didn't know how I felt at first for a long time too. But yeah. I think with a lot of time and with healing, you'll understand and you'll know what you need to do. 
And then that's kind of the point where I've gotten to now. And I just hope that I make the right decisions going forward. That's all I can really do. Well, JC, thank you so much for the advice. Uh, We've seen in the discord. So if anyone, I guess, has been in JC's position or just has like, I don't know, any advice or Mm -hmm. just any camaraderie, um, jump in our discord. I mean, uh, y'all, y'all been connected there. That's That's right. Share some support. JC, thank you so much for sharing your story. Really appreciate you calling in. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to listen to me again. I of love course. you guys, and I can't wait to get back to the live. <laughs> yes. Sounds good. You're the best. See you, See you the there. Live, well, there wow. you go, man. Wow. Talk about what a lot to go through, but to, you know, also have, making all the right decisions, also yeah. making all the right decisions, uh, focusing on your child, focusing on yourself, you know, in, like the most important thing, the most important thing. So yeah. big, big shout out to Jesse there.